Hello, my name is Jeff Philly. I'm the principal of Coquille Junior Senior High, which is our seventh through 12th grade building. This message is for seventh graders, and I'm really excited to have a new group of seventh graders in the building, but I know it's kind of an uncertain time. In a normal year, we would have our sixth graders come over and tour our building in the spring and see everything and see how things work here, but we weren't able to do that. Now, I know that almost all the sixth graders were able to view a video that we sent that talked about the building, but we thought it would be good just to have a little refresher here and talk about what it means to be a seventh grader in our building. In this short video, I'm gonna go over five things. Number one, getting to and from school. Number two, lockers, and what are you supposed to bring to school? Number three, lunch. Number four, going from class to class, and number five, who do you call or what do you do if you've got a question? All right, let's talk about the three ways to get to school. First, parents can drive in and drop their student off in this special junior high entrance in this roundabout. They can drop their students off here anytime after 7.45 in the morning. 7.45? we have this main entrance staff. Number two, students sometimes walk to school. That gate over by that big Myrtlewood tree is where students will walk in, right there. We do not want students walking in the main gate with the traffic. We want all students, if they're walking or riding their bikes, to come in the gate by the Myrtlewood tree. The other way students may get to school is on a school bus. So they will come in off central and the school buses will drop them off right here in front of the school and they will just enter the doors down below. Every seventh grade student is going to get their own locker. It's a combination lock and we'll teach them how to use it. The lockers are, are not very big and so um, it'll fit a backpack and some other personal things. We also have some hooks where they can hang their backpacks in the hall. Uh, students aren't allowed to use um, cell phones during the school day, but if they have a cell phone and put them in their locker and lock their lock, then they can access them after school. Lunch, 12 to 12.30 every day. Downstairs in our cafeteria is only for seventh and eighth grade students. So it's only seventh and eighth grade down, downstairs. Uh, we have lunches provided for any students, but if a student wants to bring their own lunch from home, they could put it in their locker, pick it up from their locker, take it down to eat. Students can sit in the cafeteria for the whole half an hour if they want, but what most students do is they eat fast and then we take them up top to the football field and the track and students can have some recess time throw a football, walk around the track, have some fun out in the sun with their friends. On rainy days, uh, we'll do something else, go to a gym or something like that. Getting from class to class. We believe that seventh and eighth grade students should be physically separate from our high school students. The ages are too vast, very different. And so we have pathways set up through the school for our seventh and eighth grade students to walk that's different from our high school students who are in the main hall. There are a few times in the day where their paths may cross for briefly, but we've never had any problems here since I've been here with any problems between high school students and seventh and eighth grade students. It's something we monitor very closely. We feel very passionate about, and you can rest assured that it's important to us and the seventh and eighth graders will be separate from our high school students. Last, what if you have a question or you need to talk to somebody? Call our main office. We can put you through to anyone. Transportation, um, food service, special education, anybody. But you can always get a hold of me, Mr. Philly, the principal, and our vice principal, Mr. Ruiz. He can help you with anything. And some of you may know him from um, athletics, or as a longtime teacher in the district. We also have a academic counselor. Her name is Ms. Gallagher. She can help you with any scheduling 
considerations. We also have some social emotional counselors here. Ms. Evanuk, Ms. Ledoux. There's lots of support here at the school. Mrs. Lewis in the main office has anything to do with athletics or attendance? We're here to help. The main number is 541-396-2163. I know you can look that up on the internet, but if you call us, ask for help, we're here. We want your seventh grader to be successful this year. It's a really fun place. It's a fun building, and we have some amazing seventh grade and eighth grade teachers. We have some amazing things that we can have can happen in this building. I'm so looking forward to getting the seventh graders here. If you have any questions, please contact me. And I'm looking forward to having everyone back in the building on September 7th. Thank you.